Hey, Ron, we're at the CyberPower Suite now at CES 2018, and they have a sort of interesting set of components here in this build. Uh, so this is one of their Lux PCs. I wanted to call attention to a Fantax water block in here and also the uh, thermal take case, the P90. So the water block is particularly interesting. This was announced in December and doesn't come out till next month. Uh, so this is an R1 or R220. There's also an R160. They are glacier blocks, they're called. And it can be used to more or less passively cool low TDP components. So that's the interesting aspect of it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Leon Lee and their 550X and 330 cases. The 550X is a $180 mid-tower case with tempered glass on all panels. It's got three RGB LED fans positioned in the front, each of which has a metal frame housing and an open interior design. If you prefer a cheaper option, the 330 is $100 and comes without fans and is what we recommended most heavily in one of our recent case reviews. Learn more at the link in the description below. Looking at it from that perspective, the this, I, this is a 220, I believe, from what I've been told. They're rated based on the size, and uh, it comes with a bracket so that you can mount it in front of radiators or other fans in the system, so 120, 140. And the idea being that you don't need active cooling on the block itself, but you can just put it in the way of other airflow that you already have in the case, which would obviously help with reducing noise because you don't have as many fans. So kind of interesting from that perspective, it's lower TDP support only because you are using a much smaller surface area. You don't have active cooling built into the device. Uh, the pump's a bit small, although it does support DDC pumps if you wanted to use that. And then uh, all of the dissipation takes place on the backside where they have some aluminum fins. And in this case, they're contacting with mostly the power supply, uh, but there are a couple of exposed fins that we can show in B-roll. So the airflow going over that is what would handle your dissipation aspect of, uh, of the heat sinking. And that's done just through other fans in the system, as discussed. So pretty cool. It's, it's a bit different. The blocks from Fantex are priced at, I think, 90 for the smaller one and 110 for the larger 220, which is what's on here. If you're building some kind of low TDP home theater PC that doesn't do much other than play videos, you could use something like this and end up with a much quieter configuration overall. So I wanted to call attention to that. Uh, CyberPower is using it here in their Lux system, which is also using the Thermaltake P90. We talked about this when it was first announced. We haven't really showed it in person yet. Uh, I believe it's P90 because it's just a 90 degree bend. We've shown the, P, the P3 and the P5 in the past. Uh, so it's, it's the same idea. It is still wall mountable, surprisingly, despite its mass. Uh, and it's just a showcase for conventions and things like, I mean, like we see here today. Kind of interesting with the, uh, these are XSPC chromed tubes, which have kind of a neat juxtaposition with uh, the support bars for the glass. And other than that, we'll look at more thermal take stuff soon at CES. Uh, but yeah, Fantex block, block is kind of neat and comes out February 2018, so next month. And then if you're interested in the system pre-built itself, uh, without doing any of the work, you can check out CyberPower. We'll link them in the description below as well. Subscribe for more as always. You can go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.